welcome to the Junkodo Hobby Podcast. There are many people in the world, and each person has different strengths and interests. I grew up in the countryside of Japan and didn't have a wide range of choices in the times. And I didn't have an environment where I could do what I liked. So I lived without any hobbies. I was interested in foreign countries, so I enjoyed traveling abroad after g r o w i n up. And the destination is international marriage. In fact, when I lived abroad, I lost interest in foreign countries, and traveling abroad was no longer my hobby. Now, my hobby is illustrating and moving illustration to make animation. Today, I would like to interview three people about their hobbies. Actually, I'm gonna interview my husband, my husband's father and mother. Men and women have very different hobbies, so I'm really looking forward to hearing their thoughts. First of all, I'd like to interview my husband's mother, Mrs. z y b r a n d Hello, Mrs. z y b r a n d Please tell me your hobby and why do you like it? Hello, my name is Linda. My hobby is sewing. I love it. It gives me a creative outlet.、Um, I can make things for other people or something I may need for myself. I have made over 100 masks for family and friends during the COVID pandemic. I love working with different colours and patterns and finding fabrics to match people's personalities. I have made 80 cot sheets for a childcare centre before, and I will be making more soon for another centre. I have made a few children's quilts that I have given away also. I see, that's nice, you make it for others. It is a very good hobby. My mum also liked sewing when I was a kid. My mum made bugs and stuffed animals for me and my sister. Even so, it's hard for ordinary people to make 100 masks or 80 cot seats for other people as a gift. You are so awesome. How about the drawback of your hobby? The drawback for me at the moment is my sewing machine is in with the mechanic for service and repair, so I feel a bit useless without it. I like to be doing something productive and useful. It is wonderful to sew as it is an inside hobby, so if it is too hot or raining outside, it doesn't matter to me, I can still do sewing. But at the moment, I'm not doing any sewing because I do not have my machine. And that's a bit sad. That's right. If it's a small one, you can make it by hand sewing. But it's not productive. After all, it is inconvenient with that sewing machine. Suddenly, sewing is not affected by the weather. You can do it anytime. But as you don't have a sewing machine, you can't enjoy your hobby. Um, that's so sad. Now, the last question How long have you been sewing? Do you want to continue? I have loved sewing since I got my first sewing machine when I was 21 years old. So for me, that is nearly 40 years. I am very blessed now as I have my own sewing room, and this means I can leave everything set up mid project. I can come and go as I please. Before I had to use the dining table, which meant everything needs to be packed away before meal times. I wish to continue sewing for as long as I can see what I am doing. It gives me great purpose and a great sense of achievement. And some project presents a challenge, but when I overcome the challenge, I get great satisfaction. Wow, you've been doing since you were so young for 40 years. Unbelievable. And I'm jealous of you having your own sewing room. Because I'm sharing the room with my husband when I'm working on my hobby, illustration on a computer. Sometimes I also share my computer with my husband. Thank you for your time today. It was so very fun time. Next, I would like to interview my husband's father, Mr. Raymond. Gender and age are different with me. 
So I'm looking forward to hearing what he likes. Hi, Mr. Raymond, please tell me your hobby and why do you like it? Hey, John Cat, good to talk to you. Yes, look, my hobby is, is sailing. I like,、um, I like all things boats, and、uh, it might be motorboats, but I have a preference for sailing boats. Wow, sailing boat. I see. I think it's a common man's dream hobby in Australia. I have also been invited to your sailing boat several times. It was a very good experience. Thank you so much. And what's the drawback of the hobby? Well, yes, there are a couple of drawbacks. One, it costs a lot of money.、Uh, boats are very expensive. And、uh, they're very expensive to operate and very expensive to maintain.、Uh, I guess one of the other drawbacks is that you generally need some friends to go sailing with to make it more enjoyable. You know, the bigger the boat you have, the harder it is to operate on your own. So, generally, you like to invite family and friends along for a sail. Now, unfortunately, family and friends aren't always available. So, that's, I guess, one of the drawbacks is,、um, yeah. Needing friends to go sailing with, and、um, it's exp- an expensive hobby. That's right. Sailing boat is very expensive. It's not a hobby anyone can do, but you can afford it. And as you told me, sailing is more fun with family and friends than long. So it's a drawback you have to match the schedule of other people. When I was in Japan, there weren't such people around me. So, when you invited me to the sailing boat first time, I was very surprised. Now, the last question How long have you been sailing? Do you want to continue in the future? Oh, yes, look, I've had this hobby for a, for a long time. I've, I've had this interest in boats and sailing and all things marine. Since I was a little kid, so <clears throat> I guess it's something that I've,、uh, I've pursued my whole life. And now that I'm a bit older, I've been able to afford to、um, you know, buy the bigger boats. And、um, yeah, it's something I will probably continue to do until I'm too old to sail. Then I might change and just get a smaller motorboat just to putt around in. But yeah, I think I'll do it until I'm no longer able to. Yes, I know. You used to be a sailor. Your father was also a sailor. So you must have been naturally interested in the sea and boats since you were a kid. I think it's your life and it's a wonderful hobby. Thanks for your time today. It was really fun. Next, I would like to interview my husband, Brendan. Hi, Brendan. Please tell me about your hobby and why you like it. Hi, Junko. Actually, I have far too many hobbies, but if I had to choose just one, I think maybe I'll choose vintage video games. Specifically, video games from the early to late 1990s. The main reason I like them is because it's a nostalgic pastime for when I was a child. I don't know why, but I still find these simple video games fun to play to this day. Yes, I know you like vintage video games. In the 1990s, when I was a kid, it became popular and I used to play a lot. As I grew up, I stopped playing the video game. But you still like it. So maybe there are people who like that particular video game. What's the drawback of the vintage video game? There are a few actually, with the first being cost. When I started this hobby, maybe 15 years ago, prices were still very cheap as everyone was no longer interested and had moved on to the newest generations. But now, there has been a big popularity boom with retro video game systems like Sega Mega Drive and the Nintendo SNES consoles. Unfortunately, the prices have become absolutely insane, in some cases, for rare and obscure items, costing much more than a brand new PlayStation, Xbox, or Switch. Just recently, the most expensive video game ever sold was a copy of Super Mario Bros. 64. It sold for 1.65 million US dollars. The other drawback is they tend to break down a lot due to their age. So, one has to learn new skills in electronics to diagnose and repair them. Plus, many critical parts are no longer in production, so it can be quite difficult to find replacement parts as well. Wow, the price vintage video game is rising. 
I didn't know that. I think the plus is crazy. Because in the 1990s, video game was affordable for the average person to buy, and every household had it. If the price goes up so much, you won't be able to collect it anymore. After all, I'm your wife. So, if you spend a lot of money on game, I will blame you. And when technical repair is needed, it's in trouble. There will be many parts are no longer in production. So, if something is broken, you want to be able to fix it, and you can't play it anymore. How long have you been playing a vintage video game? Have that drawback? And do you still want to continue? It's a little bit difficult to continue, right? As I said before, I restarted collecting maybe 15 years ago. But that's when I started trying to find all our old games that we had traded in at the end of the 90s. I've really regretted that ever since. I suppose you could say I really started collecting in the early 90s when we got our first video game console, the Sega Master System. So it's probably been around 30 years since then. I hope to continue playing these games for as long as I live. I dream that one day I'll be able to show my grandkids what games are like in my generation. Hopefully I'll still have skills sharp enough so I can thrash them in Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter 2, just like my older brother once did to me when I was a kid. 30 years? Game style can be out of fashion. Many people don't play unless they have a style that suits the times. Perhaps max 5 years. Beyond that, many people get bored. But You've been playing for 30 years, so really like the style of the game. It may be difficult for younger generation to be interested in game of the older generation, but it would be nice to be able to teach them something like the history of game. I hope that they will come. Thank you for your time today. I enjoyed to hear about your hobby. This program was brought to you by TAFE New South Wales. Find your perfect career, be ambitious. Apply now online at tafenewsouthwales.edu.au Today, I interviewed three people of different genders and ages. Each had a completely different hobby and was very interesting. I'm convinced it's important to have a hobby to enrich our life. Thank you for listening to my podcast today. Join us for next week's podcast where we will talk about favorite Japanese culture.